Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to edit the header for your website using the Elementor plugin for your WordPress site. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple, and there are actually two ways to uh, go about doing it using the Elementor um, website editor, as well as the specific plugin that says Elementor uh, header and footer um, builder. So just to show you guys what I mean, uh, let's go to the plugins that I have installed. So if I click on the plugins tab over at Elementor, or I should say uh, WordPress, you'll see that I have uh, two of them um, installed. So there's Elementor and then there's Elementor header and footer builder. So it's these two right here. So these are the two ways that you can add a header section as well as a footer section for your website on WordPress. So I'll be showing you how to do both starting with uh, the header and footer builder. So once you guys uh, log into WordPress and you're at home, you'd want to navigate to the plugins tab, which is found on the left-hand side of the screen. So it's this one right here. Actually, hold on. I believe it was under appearance. Okay, so it's this one. So it's this option right here. So it's Elementor header and footer builder. So when you guys go to click on this, it will redirect you to a new page where you get to configure uh, the templates as well as the sections of your website. So j just to show you guys what I mean, here's what my website looks like from the get-go. It's pretty basic. I chose a theme. Um, I believe this one was, I actually forgot the name, but whatever. So let's go back to the editor. So if I were to add a new one, you guys would want to navigate to the top left of the window and click on add new, just like that. And you'll see right away that you get to choose a template or you could make one from scratch by clicking on the title. Actually, this one is for the uh, template itself. So if I were to choose a header like so, you get to manually configure um, how you want it displayed as well as the roles that you want it to have. But um, in this case, since we're using Elementor, we're going to click on this, edit with Elementor. It's going to redirect us to this page right here which is pretty much the same as this one. However, this one is specific for creating your header and footer for your website. So from here, you guys would want to click on the plus icon, just like that, and select a layout format for your website. So there are two options being Flexbox and Grid, but I actually recommend you guys use Grid as this one gives you more control and flexibility for uh, how you want to move your the elements of your site around. So when you select Grid, we're going to pick our structure. So let's actually go for this one. I think this one's perfect. Or actually, let's go for this one instead. So here we are. So to actually add a header, we're going to select this, this box right here. Then we're going to add a heading. So as you can see, we can add a text here for what we want our header to say. So it can do it can say something like um welcome to uh welcome to my website or um, you can simply put the title of your website or business so core dynamics tech just like that and if you guys want it to look fancy you can even add like a backdrop or an image to go with it so you can do so by uh, clicking on settings right here click on uh, featured image and you can choose from your library on what you want to upload to your website. So if we go with this one, let's say, we can select, wait for it to upload. Or you could simply choose a template provided by Elementor. So I think this one's some, um, okay, this one's uh, paid. So let's go for uh, the basic one. Okay, so this one will do. Click on insert. That will actually ask you to sign in, but you guys get the gist. And yeah, that's it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.